Hey everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas and to the semi-familiar sight now of my little case with my handbag on top as I lock the door and head off on another Christmassy adventure. Look, isn't that a super cute little like seating area? Presents with bows on top. I am just down from Good Street Station at the moment, and that is where this little festive location is. Hottenham Court Road, a long road to the bit at Good Street Station if you are looking for it. Look at these super cute little decorations in West Elm. All the little animals. Is doing his beauty routine. I don't really know what the plan is today. So I was planning to go to Fort and Mason, but I've got my little case. It's not very smoothly done. And I'm not sure how practical it is to kind of go in and try and take a good vlog because I thought I'd do like a Fort and Mason tour. I might still go and give it a shot, but I might end up having to go back later. Look, they've wrapped tinsel around the lampposts. Little touches of festive joy. This is where I'm coming tomorrow night, the Dominion Theatre. It used to be We Will Rock You, and it's now where the Prince of Egypt is. It'll be dark by the time I get here tomorrow night, so I thought I'd show you it in the daytime. I am so excited to see this. I've watched like some YouTube videos promoing this and it just looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing so I'm very excited for tomorrow. Here's the theatre for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Honestly the amount of times I've been by this theatre and I don't think I've ever noticed that it's like griffins and dragons with these lanterns. I take it we all saw that in the um, 20 year retrospective all the cast are basically back except for JK Rowling. I think it speaks volumes and I think it speaks hopefully of the way that we're going and how we're going to tolerate or not tolerate certain kinds of attitudes because it has for me like Harry Potter was just such a, an important part of my childhood and such a large forming part of my childhood. And I'm sure it's the same for loads of other people. You know, she's just an incredibly disappointing excuse for a human being these days. So I'm very pleased that she is being left out. Like, you're never going to financially get her. That's the thing, you could boycott as much as you like, but you're not going to financially affect JK Rowling. So I think just like having her glaringly absent from these kinds of things is a good way to communicate that her views are not tolerated. It's a nice way for us who do hold what she created hearts that we get to have Harry Potter and know that we're all sort of on the same page that she's no longer a thing. I've still never seen this play. I probably will at some point, but definitely I sort of just after she first started went on this huge boycott. But as I say, I don't know that boycotting her is really you really can't touch her she's made that much money that it's it's never really going to make an impact so i was very pleased to see that she is not going to be part of the 20 year retrospective okay i am standing outside fortnum and mason one of my very happy places i think i am going to make an attempt at doing like a specialist fortnum and mason tour so what I will do is I will put that up first so that then if you're watching this video I can link back to the Fortnum and Mason tour if you want to watch that in depth but I know not everyone is going to be interested in looking at food but yeah I really enjoy the Fortnum's display so if you can see like all their windows are numbered between the 1st and the 24th a different window is lit up each day as, as like an advent countdown so it's still November at the moment so there's not one is not lit up but it's very lovely. So I'm going to head in and I will link up the Fortnum's vlog if you want to watch that specifically. 
Now I am heading back along towards Piccadilly and then I'm going to go into Covent Garden. My phone is down to like 19% battery because apparently Avanti West Coast don't bother putting plugs on trains from Glasgow to London anymore. I forgot this happened to me the last time as well so not ideal. I can't check into my hotel till 3 but to be honest by the time I would kind of get there at this point probably be about 3. So I'm going to head to Covent Garden, have a wander of the shops and maybe just make my way to my hotel, get checked in, get a bit of charge in my phone and then see where the day takes me. I am going to head into And Other Stories. There's a pair of earrings that I really want and I looked for them in both Manchester and Liverpool and couldn't get them. But before I go in, I've never noticed this flag that says that from this site, John Logie Baird broadcast the first television programme in Great Britain on the 30th of September 1929. There you go, you learn something new every day. And now it's an And Other Stories. I'm going to head in and hope you have my earrings. I don't see my earrings, but I do like this ring. No luck with the earrings in that and other stories either. I will go to the one on Regent Street and hopefully see if they've got them. I'm heading down into Covent Garden now and I really want to go to the Lulu Guinness shop to look at the Queenie bag in the brown crock. Oh, they've got a Guerlain pop-up which I would like to go to if it's open and Lisa Eldridge pop-up's also there. But I don't know if those little pop-up shops are really the one for, again, when I have the case and the tote bag. So I might just have a quick look at Lily Guinness and then get over to my hotel, see if I can get checked in and dump my bags. I don't know, I might even go to the hotel and try and edit the video and maybe get an early night given that I was out so early this morning. I'm going to head down Langley Court past Kate Spade. I really like the little apple bag they've got from their iHeart New York collection. I've not seen it in person. Looking online I think the measurements of it are about the same as my frog bag. So not the most practical. Doesn't even take my phone but it's very cute. I don't see it. I think maybe the Regent Street Kate Spade will, will have it. Have you seen the Radley picture bags for this year? They're very cute. Okay so there's the first one. Where he's driving home for Christmas which I do like but the book bag this year is very very cute. Wait till I see if that's in the window or something I could easily show you without. Oh, it is in the window, but they've got they've got a Black Friday sticker right over it. What a feel! Because you know that the the Black Friday offer is not on the picture stuff, which is the only stuff I really want from Radley. So I'm coming down into Covent Garden proper now, so you can see the market. The ritual shops looking beautiful. This is right at the front or at the centre as you come down sort of Main Street as if you were coming from the tube station. And then over there, there is a little photo op installation. I think I will head down to Lily Guinness first, which is down to the right here. It's on King Street. Just started down King Street, but there is this huge Covent Garden tree for this year. So that's the middle of the side of the market on like the right hand side if you come down from the tube station so like as I say just off of King Street oh it's huge I feel like the camera never gives you the perspective of how huge it is but if you look like there are people standing over there and they don't even reach the second like black bar on the the bucket at the bottom of it it's beautiful oh it feels so festive now lights over these buildings or apparently I'm not getting to Lulu Guinness right now. Um, how cute is that though? Placing up an actual sign. Uh, so they'll be back shortly. Look at the doorknob. Even the doorknob is lovely. Anyway, we'll look in the window. So they've got the, the iconic clutch bag but it's the queenie bag that I want to see. There are people in the shop so I don't know I don't know if they're coming back their break or if they're just about to head out in their break. So we'll hang around a little and wait and see. Oh my god guys it should snow out and plays frozen. Oh the the installations Disney I kind of presumed it was Tiffany's because they did that installation last year or the year before maybe like it better now that it's frozen which we saw in New York the musical and it was amazing I loved it so I've not seen it in London but if it's the same as New York I highly recommend well I won't be going to the girl and pop up regardless of having or not having a suitcase because it's not open yet but as you can see they're still fitting the inside 
and there's the Lisa Eldridge store so I definitely want to go in there but I want to look at all the vintage makeup and stuff so I definitely I don't want to be lugging around a tote bag and a suitcase I want to be able to just go in and be quite hands free so I will go in there another time look at these I really want to do one of these dome things sometime at Christmas but they look so festive and cozy and cute I was meant to be doing the ones that are down by the Thames with Lindsay and Lauren on a trip that got cancelled thanks to Covid, as so many trips did. I might um, have a look into these ones for Lauren and I coming back down. Look how cute this is, Covent Garden Christmas Village and you walk through this little archway. I'm really not hungry, I thought I would have been hungry by now and I may have sat down and had food. But yeah, just not hungry for once in my life. So there we have Covent Garden's mistletoe traditional decorations. Okay, so the sign is down, but it now looks like it's actually shut. I wonder if something's just gone wrong. Oh, oh no, this was not a good plan to come to Covent Garden today, was it? So yeah, the lights are off and the shop is now empty but it does mean I can peer through the window and feel a bit less like I'm staring at the people who were there. So I don't know if you guys can see. So that top handle bag there in the red is the one I want to see but I want to see it in the brown crop finish which I think is also a slightly bigger size. I can't see that from here but I'm hoping they'll have it in the shop once the shop is open. I actually ended up being so tired that I just went back to my hotel and completely crashed out. I'm ending day one here. I'm sorry it's been quite short, although I'm doing Vlogmas as are many other people. So I'm sure you've probably got lots of content to watch at this time of year and you maybe don't want like hour long vlogs. So yeah, hopefully it's been all right and still been semi interesting for you. Thank you very much for watching and do check back tomorrow. There will be a new video on my channel every day between the 1st and 24th of December to help count down to Christmas. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!